978 Starry 378 Nicole Kitteruza. Today is November 1st, 2021. Um, I was at the park in Marie Curie Park with my son. I spoke to one gentleman. Um, I'll be manic. He could be mania. Um, on a level that I don't normally talk to humans on. But, um, in that, whatever, tell one. So this way I have human equipment that I confirmed my findings with. Um, so I spoke to one man. He's the man who has the grandson who told me I was a Karen, which I don't know if that's caring. It depends linguistically on what lang slangly they're pronouncing from, I suppose, as a human species in all different head spaces. Um, I did mention to him that I was, I felt like if my safety was in the shape of a sphere that some magical lace somehow was, you know, whatever, and then became an artichoke in like a loose vented system kind of a thing, because there's some kind of wavelength that keeps healthy cells at this, and then there's like an unhealthy wavelength, which makes it more of artichoke is what I call it. Then there's something where there's an inner wavelength, but then there's an outer wavelength. And that changes the qubits, which pulls on the sphere, which opens and closes the vents, which is what this is project is in a kind of sort of but not really type of a way. It's not labeled. I don't have I don't know who is touching what buttons on what magical system to put to cause harm to the, whatever, the water security, I suppose, um, I'm like water system, maybe, I'm like dimensional, wavelength, I mean, it could be so many different for w, DWS, I'm not quite sure, because nobody teaches this stuff on safety and how to keep yourself safe from the others who know more than you, um, so, I was at the park, Channel 7, Eyewitness News, Pavarazzi, or News Helicopter, went over. Um, I was late. I was supposed to be back at home by 4. Um, but today, whatever, I stayed a little longer. I lost track of time. Um, and so, as I was walking back, I saw the... I guess she could be like my Olivia Benson of NYPD. She used to be the crossing guard um, over by Anthony's school, but I stopped to say, I was like, did I ever tell you that he was my Mayan calendar baby? She goes, you did. And I said, yeah, there's some kind of like thematic. Again, I had a manic demania conversation with an SVU officer that's known me for a while, knows my behavior is... Just looks like everyone else. Just miserable to be here and on the way to, like, dropping their kids off and whatever. Um, so that's how it's been for years. Um, and so anyway, so I said, you know, time seems to be a thematic in this New York space. I was like, first... In 1980s, they called me Hella in London. I was like, indicative of Ragnarok. End of the world. Could be. Um, or could be not. They had time to fix it. Um, but laying the for folklore foundation that if whatever, I had reference um, and record. Then there's, I said, my first son... He, they made, the humans made reference to something I'd never heard of called a Y2K. That was the end of the clock. I was like, and then my last son, which is this one, 
Um, I was like, they make reference to the end of the calendar. Now, like, now I stopped there with her, but I'm thinking to myself, with all of those global telescopes and Hubble and all this crap that they throw up in the atmosphere, the the television and the radio speak saying that the NASA and the billionaire space crew around the world, all the different flags, I'm in this unity flag, but different flags from all over the place, um, they get special, uh, some special program that they get going on, I don't know how you even get into it, um, they've been messing around with telescopes and signals to other planets and other stars for measuring and calibrating and doing all sorts of stuff that the regular human has no idea as they're walking around on a sphere or told that they're on a sphere when you land on a pedal of an artichoke that all of a sudden is not functioning properly because you've got wavelength in outer space in out of this world and out of reach places which looks like the fabric of space and time to them because they don't know any different but has some calibration to it in a cubit that they don't teach even in their level of school so now they're changing measuring sending and bending outer fabric of space and time and it's causing real world bending and manipulation and torque and torsion and it's causing different shapes it's causing different wavelengths it's causing the sun to react the heat source to react differently to the con in the convection because now if you have a piece of this artichoke petal pulled into a different position because the wavelength changed. Now the sun's wavelength changed. Now the convection rate changed. Now the chemistry has changed. Now the magnets have changed because now you've stretched the wavelength that runs this way in magnet of what you're expecting. You've got now different wavelength bouncing this way that throws off the calibration and equation and you have an unsuspecting human just walking around and being at effect of people that they can't touch or reach or even know how to warn because there's no collections department around here for how to report that this is going on. And why are the people in the professional field not held accountable and not taken care of when this started happening. I have a way and an anchor in time and space to mark my own journey, but I'm still in a hole in time and space. It's like a hole in the wall. Yeah, it is a hole in the wall. This is where my topiary has been. I don't know how to get out of the hole in the wall because so many of the other circumstances have changed around me and it's I put before I'm like it's like the gloves come off and the strings they they pulled strings out of whack which translates to the G love is off and the str quanta strings were pulled for other people's children and other people's purpose which caused this into this and now all of a sudden, whack, it's the vortex of safety is now out of whack. And this last four words are H-A-C-K, hack, which is what they say when somebody breaks into your system, when you don't want them in your system or you don't want them in your personal space or in your electrical grid space, you don't want them to make you have cancer when you were not on track to have cancer but now whatever it's now off whack because it is some out of place in time it's some kind of dysplasia and it's a whole nother law category 
I just don't know who conducts that level of law, especially now that they have so much television, branding, advertising, and money to burn where they're sending stuff up and out and recalibrating stuff. And those of us born in a manger, in like a mangy situation, it feels like our lives are getting worse here in the local pedal of the artichoke with all the strings pulled out of whack. I said to the man, I'm like, you know, when like you get a factory pair of shoes and like the right out of the box, they're just so perfect and so beautiful because they were built in the factory the way that they were supposed to be built. And then, like, something happens, like, they get wet, or, like, you have to put them in the washing machine, take the laces out, and then you try to put the laces back in. Like, it just doesn't look the same after you wash them or after you put the laces in. Sometimes, like, it just, it, it does, let's put it this way, it, they look different than when they came straight from the factory. He's like, actually, yeah, he goes, I know what you mean. I go, well, that's what I feel like the environment was at one point. It was like this perfect factory built specs, like to spec. And then somebody got curious or messed around with something. And now it's no longer in like factory calibration. And it, it I can feel it, you know. And so it was like, that's interesting. And I, and I wished him well. His name was, I think he said his name was Richard. I said I was Nicole. I used my own name. Whatever. Um, there's symbolism built into my own name for nickel and cobalt and iron. Whatever. For EO me EO in a 505 IET. Um, Alright, so anyway, so this change in dimension from this to this changes the convection rate and level and chemistry, which then pulls the energy that we're used to in pairs off for rhythmic um, in a whole nother caliber of doctorate, doctoral, and out of this world knowledge. I don't want to come forward and have to speak this way and teach any of this but I'm stuck in a hole in the wall in a panic safely room. And I don't know how to get to the man I was built and born for. And I don't know who left me in this blind. I say, I'm like, I, I'm in the dumb fucking and useless category of human. Because we've been left dumb, deaf, and blind by those that know more than us in my life frame. My parents were in the same situation, I feel, as then, I mean, I, Lou, again, he had his own life experiences. He doesn't share anything with me, and he's not real honest, and there's a lot of away frame between his body machina and my own. Same thing with Lynn. I really didn't like either one of them as a kid. Couldn't wait to get off on my own, but then it was not a good thing with the Romer thing, but I didn't have parents that were good at giving advice. So, whatever on that. Um, star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. It is November 1st, 2021. Um, it is Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken. Um... Albania, a man from Albania who looks like he, you know who he looks like for celebrities? There is a gentleman who played a law enforcement officer on one of the important shows, either SVU or on Chicago, one of the Chicago series. Uh, he was either fire or, I really think that he was the street vice guy. Uh, very, like, very handsome symmetry, um, and very, like, milk carton, like, he could have been on a milk carton as a missing in New York for my whole life, um, because he's got a very specific white color, like, he doesn't get on this level of sun much, um, 
and I had a brethren of this man who, on TV now, he does the Sloman shield, and he wears a red. He looks like he is very fit as a fiddle, and he means serious business in tin stars wherever he's a U5 or a somebody special. I don't know how to address his level of importance. Um, but there was a brethren of what looked like him that came to do a comedy show in a black trench coat with under eye whatever. Um, he said he was a gypsy pirate, something, and he was Albanian. I said, you again, I said, that is interesting. You're the first Albanian I've ever met. Like, I've met, I think other people have said, but with an accent that they were Albanian. But this was the first reference to a... Grecian Albanian before there was some fleeing from some territory at some point um, which I've heard in some whisper in the wind but it never doesn't always equate out to making sense to me because there's not like a whole group of people that have acknowledged anything really for me this is just like gypsy accounts of like people in and out of my and then a whole lot of nonsense on the television and trying to like work through the psychology of where my mom's head is at what she was sold or told and why she is just so useless at giving advice or keeping me safe um and then having to prepare for my children um for when i don't have to be here any longer um think about this because like extortion like jason is now an ex and there's still torture going on of me by him his nypd league some other law groups and such so on and so forth for the entire time after benjamin was born so i really don't know how that ties into whatever either but it's i really didn't ask for torture extortion for elongating and making this more painful of a journey, for throwing a calendar at the end of the world, when I already had a clock at the end of the world, I really didn't need more gloves to come off and strings to be pulled for everybody but me. I mean, it's just disgusting how this is just... I don't know. I really don't have anything pleasant to say. On my artichoke pedal that I'm stuck being Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, Woman 361. I'm trying to do the best I can and protect whatever else is on the pedal with me. And, but be their mouthpiece for like, no, I know the rest of you touching a Hubble telescope and contorting qubits outside of a universe that you shouldn't have even known about, contorting space and time into bending fabric and stuff that you really should not be touching. Um, there's a certain level of non-human or humanoid that's allowed to touch that kind of stuff. And currently, whatever's working it on this is causing us an artichoke situation. And it is not in health standards for, I don't know why they can't get that, at least that corrected. I know it's a money-making machine right now, but just because the system's broken and makes you a lot of money doesn't make it right. Star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. Um, again, it's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken. Um, and I'm in Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.